What to photograph in June 2022? Hello, photo pillar Rafael the Bar here. In June, we'll enjoy the first supermoon of the year. The full moon will be closest to Earth and it will appear a little bit larger than usual. Mercury will be at its greatest western elongation. It's one of the best times to view and photograph the planet. We'll have June solstice, which is the longest day in the northern hemisphere, the beginning of summer, and the shortest day in the southern hemisphere, it's the beginning of winter. Five conjunctions of the moon with Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus and Mercury. And of course the Milky Way and its galactic center. Ah, and don't forget the always on for opportunities, I'm talking about the sunrise, sunsets, golden apple, hour and star trails. Also, at the end of the video, I'll show you some of the best photos you've submitted to the Philippines Awards and we featured in May. So, let your imagination fly and decide what you want to photograph. And use Philippines to plan the photo you want, so you can go and capture it. Okay, let's start with some of the best photo opportunities in June. In May, during the full moon, we had an amazing total lunar eclipse. Well, on June 14th, we'll have the first supermoon of the year. You see, in the Philippines moon calendar, you see the supermoon in a yellow circle. The full moon will be closest to Earth, appearing a little bit larger than usual. To be more precise, according to Philip Hills, the supermoon will be 7.5% bigger than an average full moon. So, if you go to the Philip Hills planner and you set the date with time bar to the uh, full moon date, it's on the 14th, June the 14th, you'll be able to plan a cool supermoon shot based on the moonrise and moonset directions that appear on the map. For example, have a look at this plan here. I have the red pin in Menorca, this is my shooting spot, and I've planned the supermoon to be setting over the skyline of our hometown, Ciutadella, and over our neighbor island, Mallorca. It's a pretty cool shot, actually. Here you have an example of a similar shot with the sun. The idea is to capture it with the supermoon. And according to the plan, this shot occurs on uh, June 14th around 5.40 a.m. How cool is that? Also, you could plan a photo of the supermoon to be perfectly aligned with an interesting subject you like. The possibilities are endless. By the way, if you wish to learn how to plan your supermoon photo, watch this video. On June 16th, Mercury will be at its greatest western elongation, which means that the planet will be further away from the Sun, giving us great conditions to view it and photograph it from both hemispheres. Mercury will shine in the early morning sky with a magnitude of 0.63, 0.63, which means that the planet will be visible to the naked eye. Remember that celestial bodies with magnitude below 6 are visible to the naked eye. Before sunrise, you'll find it low in the sky. You'll find it more or less in the sunrise direction, the thick yellow line you see on the map. Ah, and the cool thing is that Venus will be not far away from Mercury, <laughs> which is so cool. If you go to the Sun Peel, we'll see that the June solstice, if you tap on Seasons here at the bottom, the June solstice is on June 21st. It's when the Sun is highest in the sky in the Northern Hemisphere. It's when daytime is the longest, the night is the shortest in the Northern Hemisphere. It's the beginning of summer. And it's when the Sun is lowest in the Southern Hemisphere. It's the beginning of winter, the day is shorter and nighttime is the longest. So the lucky ones living in the southern hemisphere will have much more time to photograph the Milky Way and the stars. In June there are a few cool moon planning conjunctions. Moon conjunctions are so cool. This is a video I recorded with my iPhone, with my phone, on April 27th in Namibia. I recorded it at dawn and what you're seeing is the beautiful conjunction of a pretty thin moon with Venus and Jupiter. 
What's so cool, you know, to wake up in Namibia and witness a uh, conjunction? Well, long story short, in June we'll have five conjunctions of the Moon with the planets. On June 18th, Saturn will be close to a pretty large Moon. The Moon will have a Moon phase of 81%. On June 21st, the Moon will be in conjunction with Jupiter. The Moon phase will be 51%. On June 22nd, Mars and Jupiter will be pretty close to the Moon, with a phase of 40%. On June 26th, it's Venus that will be in conjunction with the Moon, with a phase of 8%. Pretty thin. And on June 27th, Mercury will be in conjunction with the Moon, with a pretty thin, thin phase of 3.5%. On both hemispheres, you will see the conjunctions pretty low in the sky before sunrise. To spot them, after moonrise, look in the direction of the thin blue line you see on the map. This is the position of the Moon at all time. And there, you'll see the conjunctions. June is another fantastic month to photograph Milky Way and its galactic center. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's a great time to photograph the Milky Way arch when it's low in the sky. It's not that low as it was in February and uh, March and May, but it's still great for shooting panoramas of the Milky Way and also diagonals of the Milky Way. And depending on the latitude you are, you can start photographing the Milky Way completely vertical at the end of June. As always, when you are at the ripping position, you can use the night ER button here to visualize the position of the Milky Way. And as you see, well, I have it just behind me. This is the core, the sand, galactic center, and the Milky Way is completely vertical, like in the plan here. Pretty cool. If I go now to the Southern Hemisphere, for example, to Spiscope in Namibia, as you see, it's also a great moment to photograph the Milky Way arching above your subject. The cool thing about the Southern Hemisphere is that the core of the Milky Way will be higher in the sky. But in June, you can also photograph it when the Milky Way is completely vertical. Panorama, vertical, diagonal, panorama, diagonal, vertical, panorama of the Milky Way. And again, if I tap on the 90R, if I imagine that I am at the right position, I can see the position of the Milky Way here. As you see, it's a beautiful arch above the horizon here. This is the core. And as you see, the core is high in the sky in the Southern Hemisphere. Awesome, 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 awesome. By the way, if you wish to learn how to plan your Milky Way photos, watch this video. Okay, 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 now let's see some of the best photos that you submitted to the Photopills Awards and that we featured in May at the time of recording this video. The first one is a fantastic shot of the total lunar eclipse with an amazing red moon during totality over the castle of Olvera, Cadiz, Spain. A photo by José Ramón Reyes Jurado. The second one is a cool four shots panorama of the Milky Way arching over the quiver tree forest in Namibia, taken by Ulrich Rabeth. And the third one is a perfectly aligned sun with a plane that's taken off over the skyline of Madrid, Spain, photo taken by Felipe Pérez Garre. Fantastic! Now, if you wish to learn how to plan and photograph all the events I've shared in this video, I invite you to download our super detailed photography guides. It's a huge collection of photography guides that are free to download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Download them. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot. Legendary photos. Bye.